Taurus, song that's playing for you is Until It Rock. So you could be in a place or whether you in a mental place or someone external to you is in a place about the space with you. Someone ain't gonna stop fucking with you until it's like they 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 want you they wanna go with you to the grave. And them being in that energy might have changed your perspective about the situation. Now you may see the friendship or the relationship as toxic in some way, shape, or form. And whether that's on your part, you gonna keep fucking with something or you're gonna keep doing something to the grave. You don't see this form or this expression or this relationship expiring ever. You know, or that's how somebody feel about you. It's uh, kind of like if you've seen Stranger Things, that toxic relationship, uh, I forgot his name, Papa I had with Eleven, it's that type. Someone someone gonna keep fucking with you until they, until they KO. Or you're just gonna continue to put yourself in this position. And whether you want to or not, you may be chained to something. You sold your time and energy to something. You sold your soul to something or someone. You did. You participated in a space you don't want to be in. You know because you changed your perspective. You know something ain't right. You know this isn't balanced. This isn't where I, what I want to do or how I want to invest my time. But for some reason, you still may be doing that. And yeah, look, you may not feel good about the relationship or whatever situation you're in. You emotionally don't bring you no good feelings. Back in the day, you might have thought it would it would go to a higher place. You might have thought you could invest in this. You you back in the day, you wanted to be into be in something until the end, but now you might feel different. Now that you've been in that space for a while, now that the honeymoon phase regarding that friendship, regarding that relationship, regarding that situation, that environment, that that job, you feel me? Or just regard you were expressing yourself in a new way. And that now that you've been expressing yourself in that way for a while, now that your environment has gotten used to this energy from you, and you may not like the feeling you get from your the the way your environment makes you feel when you do this or express this now and you put that's putting you in the space to want to move away from something you want to move away but have you or can you or that's just how somebody feels about you Yeah, you burning right now. Hey, you stressed about something there, Taurus. Something weighing heavy on the bike and ER. Yeah, I'm telling you, something weighing heavy on you. That song that's playing is E-E-R. So, come on now, emergency room. I hope somebody ain't in the emergency room and they, they look, motherfuckers is stressed about something. Or you just, you pat, you having a panic attack right now. Or are you losing it, okay? Yeah, you, back in the day, you might have thought you could get away with something or you took something that wasn't yours. Whether it was you were wearing a mat, you took someone's energy, you so someone outside of you got an idea. It was like, oh shit, I, I, could, I could fuck with that. You hopped on it. You took that, it didn't come from your mind. So because it didn't come from your mind, you can't keep it alive for a very long time. You need whatever source to water it so to speak and now you burn it you can't act like that no more because you know that's you did it that did it come from you originally you can't express yourself like that you can't involve yourself in a situation or you actually if it's third dimension you actually stole something you don't have it ain't it don't gotta be the case someone is stressed the fuck out though if it ain't you say we look you if you in a relationship, your partner might be defensive and guarded towards you. Look, the relationship, damn, the relationship might have ended. Partner might have broke up with you. Now you going through it. Oh, you, you fucked up about something there, Taurus. Whether somebody, that's you or somebody outside of you. Yeah, look, took a leap of faith. Whether you in the, it's on the bottom, you took a leap of faith and you risked it all. And you can't come, yeah, look, might have lost some friends. Now you can't come back from this or you you just lost feeling. Now you feel numb in your reality because of what you expressed yourself in or what you invested in. And yeah, look, look, that was toxic. What is it, Renner? Brenner? Dr. Brenner. Yeah, I think it was Fox. And he, that motherfucker lost his life. So hey, look, yo. Both of them. Oh yeah, motherfuckers is losing sleep here. You don't know what to do. 
You don't know what decision to make, where to go regarding this situation, regarding this friendship. Or somebody just don't know what this, yeah, it might have been a bad decision. Yo, yo shit is hitting pretty, hitting pretty heavy right now, Taurus. You, if it's you versus someone outside of you, you let someone outside of you make a bad decision in your space. You may not have been the one to make the decision, but it's like, it was, let's say it was your partner. It was your friend. It was, you feel me? You was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, or you just involved or invested time in the wrong shit. Now nah, you kind of caught up for real. Hey, listen, Taurus. Listen, Taurus. You know if this is for you. You know if you you in some shit. All right, you going, you stressing about it. You know, whatever you in. You feel me? You going through it with God. Yeah, you might have fell off your throne in some way, shape, or form. You were in some sort of position. You were at the top in whatever realm of reality we talking about in regards to your feelings. You were at the highest high in regards to emotions. Or you had it all, whatever it was. And... It's funny, the song that was playing off camera was Laugh Now, Cry Later. That was the first song that played. And now, mm, mm, you didn't invest in something the way you should have. Or you just didn't express your mind or give, you didn't nurture it. If it was an idea, it wasn't a good idea. You developed this idea when you were in a lower energy, when you were in your devil state, so to speak. You feel me? We all got it. You're supposed to dance in the middle, but if some motherfuckers stay low, others like to stay high. And then once you get, if you stay high too long, you get knocked down. And if you stay low too long, you don't get knocked up. And see, that shit's kind of fucked if you really think about it. And you could easily get stuck down. It's kind of wild. But came and saw, yes, and you saw you was in a space and now it's a memory. And because it's a memory, whatever it was, whatever that good was, you, know, you kind of going through it about it. Kind of caught up about it. You only manifested a whole burden participating in this job. You thought if you did got this little job, if you started investing your time and energy into this, in the, in the long run, it'll, it'll build up to something. You thought it would be light on you. Whatever it was, if it was a decision you made at work, might have decided to pick up an extra ship. Man, you feel me? It was like, hey, fuck it. You ain't, I don't got to worry about no shit. Ever since you picked up that extra ship, oh yeah, and they, they call you, you today. It, at that point, they, they, it's like they don't even give you the option anymore to have a day off. And on your schedule, it's just you work all the way through. And you thought, you feel me, the I could fuck with the extra dollars. They ain't putting the weight on your back now. You feel me? Hey, the money wasn't working, now it was. You sacrificed yourself. You sold your soul to your job. Look, justice is here. Hey, now listen, if that was just an example, so they don't even got a vibe with you, you feel me? But you, it's like something's been brought to balance, external to you, whether it's someone outside of you bringing a situation to balance, so like, let's say you you was the unfair partner in the relationship type shit. Now it's like someone is bringing their life into balance. So now this partner might have broke up with you. Or the way your significant other is investing in the space is putting that weight on you because you know, uh, because of a decision you made, it's kind of clipped for you. This relationship is, is coming to an end. You see it, whatever it is. And you can't even express yourself about how you, it's like you can't even do nothing about it. So you're just watching it happen. You're experiencing the end of something and it's a burden. On you. But at the same time, yeah, look, it was a decision you made. We're not going to act like nobody forced this upon you towards. Now, if that was the case, if I could, look, if you, if someone outside of you manipulated you, then so be it. And someone outside of you, you, who you held in a certain position, you let someone else make up your mind for you and now you regret it. Intro.
Yeah, you might be entering a new space. If it ain't you. And if it ain't you, it's someone outside of you. Is their justice is to like see or be in a certain vibe about the situation with you. It's like a friend don't like hanging out with you no more. You can tell. Or you feel me, your partner's losing interest. I'm telling you, whatever whatever's end whatever death is occurring, it's kinda that's wraps, it's done. And it weighs heavy on you because you may be involved in some sort of major ending in your life. And you're entering a new time for you. And whether that's a new way to think because you got such a big burden on you. Shit, you might have thought your partner was in one way or not. You feel me? The way they presented to you, they presented themselves to you before you entered the relationship. Oh yeah, you thought a motherfucker was hitting you feel me, and man, whether it was a male or a female, somebody sold you for sold, sold, they sold a good one. <laughs> Cause they got you. And now that you in this relationship, oh yeah, you burdened. Yeah, the, whoever the way they presented themselves it was is not who they are. Whoever you who or whatever you dealing with. Now you in a burdensome relationship. Cause you might have gave you might have gave a lot. You 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 and you still giving a lot to something. Yeah, look, I'm telling you, if it's you versus someone outside of you and it's like a relationship, you burden some because someone moving away from you. Whether it's someone breaking up with you or just giving up, it's like no longer giving any new to the situation with you. Your partner might not be breaking up with you, but the way they're investing in it, and, and how they're presenting themselves, you know this relationship is done. And that's burdensome on you. Whatever relationship it is, whether it's with a significant other or just an environment external to you, just how your manager is carrying, your, carrying themselves and expressing themselves towards you, you know you're not, you, you know you not the one getting the raise. And it's burdensome on you because it's like, you, you may have put yourself in a position and it's like you, Assumed you would be the one to get it type shit. So you was just carrying yourself any type of way at work, man. Now you found out you're not the one getting it. Oh, it's done. I do this. Hey, I told you something you did. I did it. You feel me? I being you, you being me, me being we. 